Welcome. In front of me is an Honor 8, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now for this process, you will need internet connection. I am already connected, and you also need a SIM card, which again, I already have my N. Now, once you pop in your SIM card and you're connected to a network, what you wanna do is simply reboot the device. So hold the power key and select restart. And once the device restarts, after you inserted a SIM card, you will see this right here, emergency call. Now, additionally, if you insert a SIM card and you connect to network, you kind of can't back into it without rebooting the device. So that's also one of the reasons we need to do it. So anyway, from here, you're gonna select emergency call. And once you do so, uh, you will then need to pop it in this weird code. So it's gonna be star hash star hash 6130 hash star hash. And once I press the uh, star, it will actually confirm it. So there we go. So from here, you wanna navigate into the phone info, select sim one, tap on the three dots and go to view sim address book, go back. And this will actually open up contacts as you can see. And from here you wanna select add contact. And then uh, in here you wanna just type in random mumbo jumbo, doesn't really matter for the name. And also make sure you add something under email, specifically email. Again, it doesn't need to be anything specific, just random letters works good enough. From there, save it. Then you wanna tap on the email choose your Gmail, skip, add email address, select Outlook, Hotmail, and Live. And from here, again, tap right at the top there. And again, type in just some random letters, then hold those letters. As you can see, it will select them. So from here, uh, you wanna select Assist, which will open up our Google Assistant and in here select or oh, search for Chrome. Oh, like so. Now, unlike uh, more modern phones, to actually uh, open up Chrome, we will need to slide this little uh, navigations right here so we have all images, maps, and so on. So you can slide this and select in apps and then select your Chrome. And as you can see, this opens up your Chrome browser. So from here, select accept and continue. And no thanks. And right at the top, you want to navigate to hard reset that info. So from here, you want to tap on the three bars right here. Go to the download category. And then in the download search bar, which is a little bit lower, there we go. You wanna type in shortcut. I think I might have misspelled it. Oh, no, there we go. There we go, shortcut maker uh, version 2.4. Now about whatever time you're doing this, it might be a different version. It doesn't really matter whichever one it is. Uh, select download, scroll down. And again, select download. Select update permissions and allow. Select OK. Let's give it a moment. Once it's finished, select open. Now before we can actually install it, we'll need to navigate into the settings and then find unknown sources, which is right here. Enable it, confirm it, go back. And let's get back to the downloaded app. So tap on the three dots, go to, where is it? I think it's gonna be easier just to download it again. Replace file, open, and install. Now select open, and this obviously opens up the application. So from here, right at the top, it's already selected input keywords to filter. You wanna tap on that again to bring up a keyboard, and now you wanna type in, oh, what's it, Huawei Home. So there it is, let's select done. 
can see, oh, now it's only one, so click on it and then select the first option below that because it just expands the list downwards. So select this and select try. Hmm. So you should now be on the home screen and what you want to do now is navigate into the settings. Scroll all the way down to advanced settings. Scroll down to backup and reset, factory data reset, reset phone and reset phone once more. Now I'm not going to be going through this on the camera because honestly all it does is performs a factory reset of the device, unlocks the device fully. Uh, so it will take a couple minutes obviously as factory reset does and once it's completed you will then actually I can't even leave this so the device is still fairly locked actually so you know what let's actually go through it just so you can see this but like I mentioned all it really does is goes goes through the factory reset of it and brings you back to the home screen or not home screen but lock screen where you can then proceed with the setup once more uh, at which point the device is, like I said, fully unlocked. So you can go to the setup as however you like. And yeah, so I'm just gonna let this run through and come back once it's finished because it will take several minutes. As you can see, factory reset has finished and unlock the SIM card. So I'll go through a really quick setup of the device just so you can see it work. Obviously, as you just seen, I skipped Wi-Fi connection, which normally wouldn't be allowed if the device is still locked, but it's not, so that was just normal. And there we go. As you can see, we are now on the home screen with the device fully unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.